What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with a new video and this time we got some good stuff to talk about. As you can see right here, I don't have the new Mark Scratch anymore uh, connected to my Rain 12s. I've actually moved that over to the back so now it's what my turntable set up. It's hooked up to my 1200 so I can play my vinyl uh, without having to uh, swap out decks. So now I have my Rain 12 set up and I have my turntable set up and in its place I've gotten the uh, Rain 70 mixer. And this is like um, a big upgrade for me. This is my first big boy mixer. Um, I've always dealt with either older mixers or the smaller budget uh, level mixers, but I felt like it was time to, you know, step it up, uh, try to kind of treat myself. And uh, I'm glad I did. I'm loving this mixer. This is everything that I wanted uh, if I was gonna go ahead and take the plunge and. Uh, commit to a big boy mixer and I think I did a good uh, purchase. I was looking at the 72 or the 72 MK2 and they, I just I've never really been a big fan of the uh, the big screen on the mixer so um, that along with some other things that this mixer has that the other mixers don't have um, really makes me um, happy that I went with this and um, it really fits into my workflow and it enhances my workflow and what I'm going to do in this video is talk about uh, my impressions on it. I've had this mixer for about uh, it's been at least a week now that I've had the mixer and I have spent a lot of time just practicing and touching every button, learning every um, uh, setting that you can use on here or a setting that you can adjust or change to personalize the mixer for yourself. And um, I'm going to go into that. I'm not going to do a um, walkthrough like this is a brand new product because hey, it has been out for over a year now. And there's plenty of videos out there where you can see uh, all the what everything does on the mixer. What I'm going to talk about is uh, why it was the perfect mixer for me. And uh, I'm also going to discuss uh, not necessarily what's better, the this or the Newmark Scratch, because it's a way big difference. It's like a thousand dollar different price point between those two. But I will talk about the differences that I noticed between using this mixer and that other mixer and how sticking with a smaller mixer or a mixer that's a little bit more limited can actually inhibit you from growing and being better and you know new equipment doesn't make you a better DJ but it does definitely uh, give you more things to experiment with and give you more things to try and um, it, it opens up your creativity so in a sense uh, a more creative DJ is a better DJ so I don't know you can call it however you want to call it, but I'm saying that it definitely expanded things for me after putting in, I believe I put in at least 24 hours worth of practice time with this mixer from beat juggling to mixing to scratching, just playing around with the effects, um, trying to see what each of these buttons does. Um, I can really see how this is going to benefit me uh, as a DJ. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I really appreciate uh, on this mixer is the a number of inputs and outputs and the options that you have for connecting everything up and getting a, a really good con clean connection. And um, yeah, all the ins and outs, you have a lot to, to work with. So I'm loving, first of all, let's start with the computer connection. You've got uh, two USB ports that you can hook your laptop up, two different laptops up too, so you can have two DJs have a really good easy swap off. Um, you've got the built-in hub for the, uh, it's built specifically for the Rain 12s, but you can hook up a, uh, other uh, controllers or other MIDI devices as well. Um, I've heard that uh, gripe some people have is the fact that it's a lower um, voltage output. But uh, if it works for my situation, I'm not going to complain. I only intend to really hook up my Rain 12s to these ports. So it's going to work out great. I'm loving the, uh, of course, you've got separate 
you've got your phono and CD input, so you can switch that between phono and CD. And then you also have your auxiliary input on each of those channels as well. So if you wanted to hook up other sound sources, that's going to come in real handy. Um, and I'll come back to that in a second why I really like that. Uh, also, you have two microphone inputs. That's really cool because a lot of these other scratch mixers, they only have just one microphone input and there's not a lot um, other than just the input for it and the volume knob. Uh, you don't have a high and a low control. You have a tone control for the mics, but still, uh, I think I really like that. Uh, I like having two microphones there. In addition to that, you've got quarter inch for your booth outputs. I like that because compared to the uh, new Mark Scratch, I believe it was RCA outputs to the booth, um, I'm used to having a quarter inch output for my booths, my booth output. Um, XLR for your mains. The new Mark Scratch, I believe, has RCA as well for the mains. Um, but we're not going to compare it too much because those are two different, um, I guess, prices. And so you, you, there's definitely a trade-off, obviously. But I'm loving this and this mixer. This is what I've been missing out personally as a DJ, is not having um, the uh, correct inputs. And what I like about having all these options is I can now consider uh, eliminating the side mixer that I usually bring with me when I do mobile events, when I've always had an outboard mixer to run uh, more than one microphone through. And I've always had to have that extra piece of gear, which you know takes up space, takes up an extra uh, plug outlet. So I can eliminate that now because I can go confidently from my DJ mixer right into my powered speakers and have enough inputs to um, be able to do a, a mobile event. I can have more than one microphone. I can have not just my left deck, right deck, but I have auxiliary inputs as well as session inputs for um, another channel. So technically I could have three channels or three sound sources going at once. And then if I needed to switch between my 12 or if I had turntables between my turntables and switch it to an aux input, I could do that as well. So it gives you a lot of options and that's what I'm loving because gigs are starting to crank back up. Um, this weekend I'm going to be using this at two different gigs. One is going to be a pop-up where I'll be bringing a powered speaker to hook it up to and the other one is going to be in a club or a lounge. So um, we'll really have some fun with that. But let's switch over to the uh, face of the mixer and we can get more into what I'm loving about it. This is a top down shot of it. I'm going to try to uh, walk through a couple of things, but just because of the angle of it, I'm going to actually need to probably switch it up. But um, here's what I'm loving on it. One right here, this right here throws me back to the days of the uh, new uh, the Vestax uh, 05 series. I love this queuing system over the punch buttons that you would have to normally use that would probably be located somewhere around there normally. I love having the um, little fader here because you can actually audition um, what it sounds like when you cut it in, when you cut the song in, because I cut a lot of my songs in, but also if you were to uh, crossfade it and blend it in you can get that that control as well and in addition to your um q volume levels and your uh mix between the actual master output and what you're queuing up you have a uh, option to choose a balance between those two and that just reminds me of the uh, old vestax mixes which i love that queuing system over the um buttons which are, i believe are on the 72 so that was another reason for me to look at this mixer and choose it over the 72. i uh, also love the faders on here this uh, mag 4 fader having it on all three faders is really really dope 
Um, on the new mark, I don't expect it to have Mag 4, but it does have an Enofader on the uh, new mark scratch, but you only have that. And then the up um, faders on the new mark scratch are actually kind of stiff. They're not uh, what I would have chosen. With this mixer, the, mi the faders are the same all the way around. And then that tension adjust right up here, this tension adjust is really, really handy. Um, because some things you want to have a tighter crossfader on. Like if you are beat juggling, you want to be able to put the fader where it is and have it stay put. But sometimes if you're scratching, you want to have that thing loose so it can just really flow and bounce the way you want it to. And you have the option to make those changes right there on the fly because of this uh, knob. And I know people are going to say, well, they, they copied that from the uh, Pioneer mixer, but I think every mixer that is, you know, going to be considered great is going to have something that is like a game changer on it and the mixers that come behind it or, or else set a standard. And I think an adjustable crossfader from the outside is something that um, is a game changer. And, you know, I'm glad Pioneer came out with it, but I'm glad the other manufacturers are following along with it as well um what else do i love about this mixer just looking at it um right off the top i love the instant doubles i love the instant doubles buttons i loved it when it was on the um when it came out on the uh, mk2 uh I, that was one of my favorite things about it on the mk2 and now that it's on the mixer i love it being here readily available uh, but now that I do have it on the mixer, it's not that big of a deal that I have it on the MK2. So I probably could have just saved a little money and got an MK1 if I knew I was going to make the jump to this mixer. Um, I love having the separate scroll knobs, scroll load and um, load prep knobs. So you can put, load stuff into the uh, prepare crate right from here just by hitting that button. You can uh, uh, jump in and out of the crate versus the playlist using that and you have the same control here as you do over there so i'm loving that that makes my workflow so much better um, same thing you have independent knobs for each channel when it comes to the depth of your effects that makes a big difference not having to that, that well i think that's a big thing for me with this mixer all over is that each deck is really going to be independent uh, you have a separate control for your depth, for your effects. You have separate load knobs for library navigation. You have independent pad mode. So if I put this pad mode into hot cues, I can have this pad mode into the loop roll or the sampler. Um, with all the other mixers and controllers that I've dealt with in the past, you have everything the same all the way across even with the new mark scratch you hit that button to change from sampler to roll all the pads do it so both decks do it and it, it can be limiting because there's other things you could do if you have independent controls from your decks so that's something i'm really loving is the way they did that even with your loop controls you have the loop control that you are used to messing around with or using to control your loops within the software itself are now on the mixer. And that's great, having that there, that in and out, that uh, loop on off and being able to hit the shift. And when you're in your save loop mode, you can hit shift and that save loop and it jumps to the playhead. It jumps right to the beginning of it like it was a cue point. So I'm loving that as well. All right, and so here we are with the front panel view, and let's get into this real quick. So you got your basic stuff. Um, some of the things that are uh, I love, are, I love this on any mixer, and that's having the 3.5 millimeter and quarter inch jack available for your headphones. You got split cue. I do not use split cue. I probably don't really even understand split cue or how it works, but some DJs, DJs just love it and they really complain when it's not included on a mixer, so it's there for y'all. Um, I love having these independent controls. I know this isn't new or exclusive to this mixer. This is just, you know, a nicety of being on uh, a 
modern big boy mixer, but I love having the contour control for my up and down faders. I love having obviously uh, contour control for the cross fader, but I love that it is a smooth knob that you can really kind of dial in to where you want it to be versus either fast or slow, a switch like on the Newmark Scratch, it just gives you a switch that goes fast or slow. It, right here, this gives you a knob, a really smooth knob to control that. You have switches down here for controlling your uh, reverse. I was not happy with it being on the faceplate of the Newmark Scratch because it uh, quite often would be switched as I'm cutting or scratching real fast or beat juggling, suddenly my crossfader gets reversed because the switch is right there on the faceplate, not too far from the crossfader. But um, I loved where they put that. That was really good thought behind that. You got your mic, your mic situation here, mic two. I love this little old school switch right here. Turn it on, turn it off. Uh, nice knob for controlling the volume and the tone of it. And then this is the knob right here, this blue knob. This controls the depth of the echo effect on the mic one, whose controls are on the top panel of the mixer. So I love the way this is set up. You've got these little uh, bumpers up here that help protect it when you put it in your bag or whatever. It doesn't fall right down on the knobs. You got these to protect it from any damage so i'm loving that i love the construction of it um let's go back and uh do a quick recap of what else i love about it and um let's wrap this up all right and so there you have it folks that is um pretty much my overview about what i love about this mixer what uh i really like and what i plan on using a lot of what features i plan on using um, I think it's a really dope mixer. It was definitely a good step up for me. Um, one of the reasons why I also think it was a, a, a good move for me to make this to this mixer was the smaller mixer that I had, the uh, Newmark Scratch, it had a lot of features for its size and for its price point, but they were all kind of crammed, they are kind of crammed in and it's a, a, a tight space. This is a much bigger mixer. It's wider, it's longer, it's got room for you to actually move around and my mixer that i was using primarily before i got on to the uh the new mark scratch was a, a pioneer s3 and that's another small mixer and that has even fewer features on it and then i think prior to that i may have messed around with another mixer in between that but then before that it was my kai amx which is a really really skinny mixer so i was using all these small mixers and all these mixers that didn't have a lot of features they had just enough to be great for their price point and i think by sticking with those smaller or more limited mixers i was actually uh, blocking myself from being a better dj or doing things and experimenting and trying things that I, I just couldn't do or it was just too cumbersome to do it on these other mixers. Uh, I don't have to hit that shift button so much on this mixer to get into different functions or features. I have more options with this mixer. I have more space that I can actually feel comfortable um, when I'm doing stuff because some of these uh, beat juggles, it, it is a physical thing. So if you're doing it in a cramped space, it's going to be a little bit harder. And then when you get to a bigger space, it kind of, you know, makes things so much more better and it opens up for you. Kind of like if you start practicing a scratch, practicing a scratch at a slow speed, and then finally you open up to a big speed, a faster speed, it's just so much better uh, of a result. And the same thing with, you know, me being on these small, tight, confined spaces. Now that I have the big setup, now I can actually uh, do some things. Like one thing that I... Uh, noticed I was able to do a lot better and if you follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook you'll see that I posted a video recently of me doing the sucker MCs and tripling up on that uh, fill with the boom bat 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 I've, I've tried so many times to try to do that with other smaller gear and it's just like just I can't figure out how they do it but now that I've got space I'm like oh yeah it's a lot more easier and then when I watched it myself doing it in the video I'm like dang I did actually kind of make it look easy because I wasn't cramped. I wasn't, you know, 
in a tight spot. So that's one thing I do like about the new mixer. I have a lot more space. I have options to easily jump into different uh, modes and that's gonna make the performance so much better. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up with that uh, and get ready to you know prepare for the next video that I'm gonna be doing, which will be coming up really soon. I got another piece of gear that uh, I think you'll really dig or be interested in seeing a review of or seeing how it works. In fact, you're listening to the product of it. It is the wireless mic that I'm wearing. Notice I'm not using the boom microphone anymore. I've got my microphone situation set up really nice. So if you want to be notified when I do post that video coming out soon, just make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to like the video, share it, comment. I'll reply back to your comments and uh, just be on the lookout for new content because we are going to keep pushing forward. And don't forget, I also got the raffle going on. or well, not the raffle, but the uh, contest. If you want to get the Guardians of the Galaxy vinyl, it's still available. All you got to do is go make a comment on the video that I link in the card above. It is regarding my uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, if you want to get a chance to, or if you want to win those, just go ahead and get the, be the 20th commenter on that video. And I've got another giveaway I'm going to do on the next video. Uh, so just keep subscribing and keep tuning in. Until then, I am out. Peace.